Hello everybody and welcome to Anthology of Fear. Now this is a horror game where essentially you're a guy investigating the disappearance of your brother. With that being said, let's hop right into it. Now keep in mind, this is a demo. The full game ain't out yet. It won't be released until I think next year. Let's hop right into it. Supposedly this is supposed to be really good. I don't know what it is with these horror games that make me feel old, but eh, get out of the car. All right. Oh. Oh, it's very, it's interactive. Okay. This is definitely like 1960s because you can tell by the cars. Gonna shut the door. Either that or this guy's in like modern urban environment with like an old classic car. Which is apparently Japan, I guess. Huh. Continue down the street. Oh, there's another one. What the? Oh, it's a mannequin. Hello. That's not a logical place to put a mannequin. That's the same model as mine. Looks like it's been here for a long time. Ordinary fuel canister. I think there's some gas in it. I like how everything's like interactive with this game. That's actually cool. Oh, for a minute, I thought that was a banana. The crowbar. I don't feel so good looking at the phone. I have a feeling I should stay away. Ah. What do I need the crowbar for? Oh, it actually responded to me. <laughs> Hello. Open sesame, I guess. Breaking and entering. Kind of generator. Why is there a weird... Like a random elevator here. Don't think there's any few. Oh, the gas canister. We saw earlier in the one car. I'm gonna run back, pick that up. We're gonna use that. That mannequin's gone. But, ooh. Excuse me. I think that mannequin was ticked off. I just stole his gas can. Well, that was probably a dumb idea to go down the elevator. That's essentially charged with a generator 
They could go off at any moment and leave you stuck in the elevator. Oh, whoa, what was that? How is this place? Ooh. Nothing there. Huh. Okay. Nothing down here. There's another door right there. Some more interactive stuff. Even more canned food. Some alcohol at least. I won't starve here. Locked. Anything in here? Writing utensils. Oh, this opens. Stuck on 303. How much time have I spent down here? You just got here. Well, that is dark. Barely see it. Looks like sewing stuff. Oh. Close shut. Open up. Who's in my house? This is my house now. Is that a lockpick? Or no, those are darts. I thought that was a lockpick. Button here. Locked. The random. I didn't open that one up. That one opened up on its own. Yeah, I thought that was somebody. Shit. I thought that was somebody right there, but nah, it's like just a shadow painted on the wall. Scared me to death. What the hell was that? I want to know what this is. I don't want to look at it. Oh, key. More key. Look at 303. How much time do I have spent down here? Hmm. Why does it sound like a shower is going off? Like somebody's taking a shower right now. The ghost is angry. Oh, what the fuck? Very angry. Do you hear me? I have a straight feeling someone's been lying in this bed. Why do they have a lamp on the bed? Oh, VHS tapes. I'm 
Wake up, Nathan, please. Uh, hello. You're kind of in my way. What the? Oh, hey, there's a clock up there. 303 again. Oh, there's mannequins all over the hallways now. The elevator open. This might be my way out. All right. Further down I go, I guess. Oh, we got now we got a flashlight. Okay. Ugh. Floating books. I have to find her. At this point, I would just go back in the elevator. No. Why are you like this? What, the window? What's that supposed to mean? Now there is a sprint button here, so it makes me think we do have a chase scene or something. I love you. Boy block. Oh, we gotta find to... The bunny head is following me. I just noticed that. Missing here, I gotta find him foot. Uh, that doesn't open. All right, let's continue on down these halls, see if we can find any more blocks here. Up oh, there's one. None in the bottom. Got a cat. Mommy, look at the white bunny. It's shining. Oh, there's another block. So we found two blocks so far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one we already opened. Looks like the wallpaper could be peeled off here. I'm missing one more. There it is. Do I have to spell something out? I'm sorry. the hint over here you left Emily you bastard mommy that cat just blinked do it again yeah this <laughs> uh, no There has to be a hint somewhere around here what the uh, word is. Or is it mommy? Mm. 
No why or well there's a why. Huh. Where are you? Run back here, see if there's anything around. That was mean. Your life is meaningless. Ouch. Emily. We'll try Emily. Let's see if it's Emily. Yeah, it's Emily. There we go. Aha. I win. Oh. I saw the shadow and looked over. Not the time yet. There's like centipedes over there blinking at me. Kind of creepy how the drawings are like sentient. <laughs> the walls are watching you. They're always watching you. What happened to my flashlight? Uh, no. What is up with this room? Do you remember? Do you remember, Alice? What is Emily's story? That's a giant eyeball. I just realized that. More VHS tapes. You can't justify this. My life is hollow. How am I supposed to explain this to her? It doesn't make sense. Hmm. picking up why didn't that candle light what the f was that not the time yet the TV do you remember and a radio radio moved once upon a time there was a little girl Emily was her name with her brushes she would swirl painting was her world art always in her mind she loved animals big and small no matter of what kind 
One day a big storm came and a scary thunder roared. Gladly her best friend was there so she could be her ward. And so our girl wouldn't be scared, the friend invited her to play. And with that little help, the fear of thunder went away. Then, a loud rumble was heard, everything went blank around. Screaming was loud in the house, and then a crying sound. But this time it wasn't her crying. Alright. I like how she was like putting on like a New Yorker accent. Do you remember? What, the painting? Or the drawing? Oh, there's something else down here. Do you remember? Where do I need to go now? Do I need to go past the TV or? Yeah, past the TV. Still seeing the same thing. That's still locked. Hey, Centipedes, how you doing? Oh, there's no drawing. Locked. Why does it sound like somebody's walking towards me? That's turned on. Oh, there's another one. I remember something. What? What do you remember? I love you. Are you... Ugh. Oh, now this is unlocked. Hello, Mr. Eyeball. Of course you don't. What kind of a mother are you? You are useless. Do this right. Do it. No, I thought we were looking for our brother because that's what the description of the game was, but... Nope. I'm guessing we're a mother looking for her daughter. Of course you don't. What kind of a mother are you? You are useless. Do this right. Do it. Painting was her wall dart always in her mind. And so our girl wouldn't be scared. The friend invited her to play. The big storm came and the scary thunder roared. Then a loud rumble was heard. Everything went black, blank around. Okay. Where'd the door go? Of course you don't. What kind of a mother are you? You are useless. Do this right. Do it. Do this right. All oh, the story, um... girl wouldn't be scared a friend invited her to play a big storm came and scary thunder roared and a loud rumble was heard and everything went away I flicked the light now what of 
course you don't. What kind of a mother are you? You are useless. Do this way. Do it. Oh, there's light switches everywhere. Wait, is there a certain pattern I gotta hit these things? Yeah, I don't get it at oh. Oh. Never mind, I got oh what the fuck. I figured it out. Congratulations. You remember your child. But tell me, Alice, why don't you remember me? Do you remember that day? Don't forget it. You look confused. It was not how you remember it. It was dark outside. Don't forget how it really went. It was your fault. It was Emily's fault. You both made me do this. Do you remember? I'm pretty sure anybody will remember a giant freakish eyeball in their bathroom. Can I leave now? Yes. Oh, Lord. Mm. How am I supposed to explain this to her? Yeah, I better leave that. <sighs> what the f- So did- She commit suicide at the end? Solve the mystery in the full additional anthology of fear to your wish list on Steam. Also, that was it. All right. Final thoughts on it. I think it does have like potential to be a really good game. It's creepy. It's atmospheric. It kind of like reminds me. It's like PT, like Silent Hill PT and all that stuff in a way. Mixed with the uh, layers of fear. So yeah, I'm kind of interested in this game. If it does like get a full release, I'll play it. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. As always, have a good day.